Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the MSRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It has been approved for all persons ages 10 and over. This video is brought to you in part by The Night Sheriff by Phil Foglio. Bartholomew Xenon Xenonland is protected by The Night Sheriff. Day and night, he's burdened by a witch's curse to be aware of all that live and play within the massive fantasy theme park. Now an attack on the park by a monster hunter who knows far too much threatens everything. The guests, the staff, and the supernaturals who take refuge in the park. The night sheriff must scramble to uncover not only the source of the threat, but the secrets of the park of which even he was not aware. If he doesn't, he may be doomed. The park may be doomed. And even the world may be doomed. And that's a lot of doom. Go to Amazon.com for your copy today. Hey kids, this is Jack. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Planet Zoo and the Prairie Haven Zoo Project. What we're doing in this episode is we're putting in a habitat for pronghorn antelope. Pronghorn antelope are, of course, a North American species of antelope. You don't see a lot of North American antelope, or in fact, antelope from anywhere other than Africa, but this is obviously one of those species. Um, they're native to the, the western reaches of the United States, you know, the, the California, Colorado, those areas. And uh, they're, they're an interesting variant. I didn't want to just go with one of the usual, you know, I knew I'd have to put in antelope sooner or later, but I didn't want to go with one of the usual African ones because, you know, there's, everybody puts in African antelopes. You know, everybody. Everybody does it. Everybody does it. So I decided to try something new. Anyway, guys, um... If there's one problem with this, with, with this uh, habitat that I end up building, it's that it might not have enough privacy barriers for the antelope, but we will see how that goes during gameplay while I'm building the rest of the zoo. <clears throat> the zoo itself is, is a fairly basic build. Uh, it's a lot of open space. It's, I've got a hill in the middle. You know, you'll see. But um, it didn't require a lot of fancy stuff, mostly just an eye toward uh, aesthetics. Um, which, you know, I think it came out really well. I think the, the final um, habitat is exactly what it needs to be. Anyway, I'm going to let you watch the build, and I will talk to you after the time lapse is over. Hope you enjoy it.
And here we have the finished habitat. As you can see, the pronghorns are uh, doing just fine. They've actually act, you know, had a couple of babies already. This is very cool. It, you know, like I said in the intro, it's a pretty basic build, but I think it looks fine. I mean, you know, it's uh, it, it serves all the purposes, and it's got some interesting elements, and it definitely gives the, the, the pronghorns everything they need. I mean, look at this. They're, they're doing just fine. You know, just fine. What's the matter with their new... Oh, I know what that is. That's the fact that they're the new animals, and so they're still getting basic food. It happens. Let's go ahead and bump that up to quality three food. They'll enjoy that better. You know, and I did manage to put in all the bells and whistles around it, and they've got uh, uh, benches and such. I need to include benches down here, but generally I'll do that when I build something else. Likewise, <clears throat> I'm going to have to put some decoration around this staff facility here. It's basically a copy of this staff facility, so it'll probably look like that. Um, anyway, oh, hey, we fit a challenge. What's our challenge? Breed habitat species. Very good. We'll claim that reward. Um, so in the next episode, I haven't decided exactly what the animal's going to be. Let me, let me show you the options here. Um, just do any species, but what I want... What I'm looking at is appeal rating. <clears throat> now, we have a lot of, you know, this going on with the PFAL and such, because there's a lot of PFAL on the market. But we also have the possibility of like llamas and, and flamingos, but I discarded that possibility because what I want to do <clears throat> is put a uh, put an animal in that's basically got the same general popularity of the pronghorns. You see the popularity's got, you know, it's 1,125. Well, okay, that's red kangaroo, that's ostriches, that's the fallow deer. Um, I don't know if I want to do the fallow deer because that's very similar to the pronghorn, but in the same, at the same time, I could do Malayan tapirs. Or I could do southern cassowaries. I haven't done southern cassowaries. That is somebody who's dreaming big. I gotta tell you, they're never gonna get 10 grand. Or maybe that's the point. Maybe they're trying to, to trade something with them. You know, I haven't decided yet. Um, but I will make a decision. And I'm probably gonna put this animal somewhere in here, maybe along this entire arc. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be the next animal. And I hope you join me. I think this zoo's coming along just fine. We're doing well for money. Um, we're running out of uh, conservation credits. But that's going to change as soon as I hit the big ticket items like the cheetahs. And the, you know, when I start uh, having a breeding population of cheetahs, they will... Uh, earn some conservation credits. They will definitely earn some conservation credits. I'm liking how the zoo's working so far. Um, this slow build system that I am working is uh, doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So I shall see you in the next video. All these guys will be decorated in the next video. I'll tell you that for nothing. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Like I said, I don't know what we're building next time, but it's going to be cool. Bye-bye.